Hello, and welcome to the Bell Hops Tabletop. I am the Tabletop Bell Hop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Let me put my years of game playing, event organizing, and game night hosting to use for you. Tonight, the question we are answering is who is the better player in The Fox in the Forest, a game by Renegade Games. Uh, we are doing this live right now on Twitch at our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop, as part of Worldwide Play Day. That's hashtag Worldwide Play Day, put on by Renegade Games. The sponsor game today is Fox in the Forest. And what they are hoping for is for people worldwide to be playing this game at the same time, starting at noon PST or 3 p.m. Eastern, which is our time. As part of this, Renegade's doing a cool thing where they are going to tweet out Facebook, send out messages with worldwide events, which are going to change the actual gameplay while we're playing. And we are taking part of that. So today, starting at 3 o'clock, in about 6 minutes, we're hoping to start our game, and then we'll be watching our chat room here to see what worldwide events are going to affect us. Now, as a bonus for those of you watching us live, Renegade has agreed to give away a copy of Sunday Split. This is another game from Foxtrot Games, published in partnership with Renegade Games, another card game, that we are going to give away to one person in our chat room. Now, to do that, you're going to have to say something, because I can't just keep the little chat open. You have to say something so we can go back through the video, get a list of all of your names. So just say hi, say good luck to Deanna, say good luck to me, make a bet on who you think is going to win, whatever you want to go with. Just say something in the chat so we see your name show up over here. So first off, I'm going to have to explain the game. So Fox in the Forest is a two-player competitive card game. It comprises a deck of 33 cards. There are numbers 1 through 11 in three different suits. Moons, keys, and bells. I'm just grabbing random cards, and I realize that they're a little hard to see. Once we actually start playing, I will zoom in on the camera. So we have bells, keys, and moons. It is a trick-taking game where you're going to play tricks of two cards each. We're going to start off, shuffle it up. And we are going to get 13 cards each. Don't look at me. I'm relying on you to teach me. Two, that should leave seven cards. Sure enough, seven cards. I did my math right. You're going to take your cards. You're going to look at your cards. I'm going to look at my cards. We're then going to flip over the top card. And that card is, I already forget the name of it. Oh, it's called something special. It begins with a D. My bad. Oh, what is it called? I forget the name of it. It's terrible. Decree. The Decree card. Thank you. We flip over to the Decree card. So what the, for anyone who knows, um... So it is a six of keys. For anyone who knows trick-taking games, I'm just going to use the trick-taking cards. That is basically trump. Now, since I led, D's going to lead a card. Now, there is one to 11 in each card. And the way it works is I have to follow the suit that Deanna plays. And then whoever has the highest number is going to win the trick. I then put the trick in front of me. We're going to keep playing until we play all 13 tricks. And then we're going to get points based on how many tricks we took. Now, the interesting thing here is that if you take zero to three tricks, you're actually going to score six points because you're humble. And that also means your opponent took 10 to 13 tricks and they were greedy. Otherwise, one of the players is going to take seven to nine tricks, which makes them victorious for six points. And the other player is going to take four, five, or six tricks, and they're going to get one, two, or three points for those. There's a scoring summary that summarizes this. The goal is the first player to 21 points. If you take too many, if you take too many you're greedy and your opponent is humble. Huh. So the, you can shoot the moon, basically. Yeah, okay. And you play it to 21 points. Now, to make things interesting, every odd-numbered card is special and breaks the rules in some way. Now, the problem is we're going to have to try to find these odd-numbered cards. I probably should have played them out. So the one is a uh, swan or, yeah, it says swan in the corner. If you lose the trick, you get the lead for the next one. They're all on the summary card. Oh, there you go. They're all on the summary card. Perfect. So there's this one, the fox. When you play this card, you can exchange the decree card with a card in your hand, which would change the trump. The wood carter, when you play this card, you're going to draw a card, then discard any one card to the bottom of the deck, because there's always seven cards that aren't being played. The witch, when determining the winner of a trick with only one witch, treat the witch as if it were oh, trump. Going up and I'm going down. The I'm monarch, the wrong one. when you lead this card, your opponent has to play the one of that suit. If they don't have it, they have to play their highest card. So that is pretty much it. What I'm going to do now, because we are almost at 3 o'clock, we've got two minutes left, 
Are there any questions from the chat room on that? Like, I went through that pretty quickly. Sorry. So, again, there's only three Assuming suits. The generic, I gotta follow. You know what? Let's just play really quick. Like, we won't play Sorry. a full game, but just play a little bit of a hand until we get to 3 o'clock. Then we'll zoom in and we'll restart just to, to make it official. Just So, so you're going to lead. It's a lot of cards to hold in your hand <laughs> at once. A lot of cards to fan out. All right. So, you know, you're going to put it down here. So, when you lead with this, if your opponent has a key, they must play either the one key or their highest key. Okay, so it's an 11. I play a 5 because that is my highest key. Okay. And I have this. When I play it, I draw one card from here, and I can discard a card. Neat. I am in that to the bottom. No, you have to take this because you won this trick. Does this stay here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you won that trick. <clears throat> now you get the lead again. Does the trump ever change? If that card changes. Okay, why would that card change? Because there's ones something. that let you change that card. Oh, yeah, the fox lets you change it. Okay. And then it should be face down, and then you have to stagger them so we can see how many tricks you have. Alright. Alright, it's three. Yeah. <laughs> we might as well just keep going. So I could have led with anything? I didn't have yes, to lead with Yes, you could have led with anything. Okay. Nope. Thirteen. Should be seven left. Okay. Flip the top of the seven. And we're going to have to move it so people can see it. So now you That's should be able to see fox. that. So it has a three of bells, which is a fox. Now I have the lead. Let's get the trump out of here right away. I'm going to lead with the eleven of bells, which is going to cause you to play the one or your highest bell. Yeah. You have the one. Now you get this because you played a one. No, I get the trick. No, you get the trick, but, but you get I the lead. lead. The next yes, trick. you get the lead. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Give me a second. I want to organize my hand. I don't know how you just started going without sorting it all. It makes me crazy. <laughs> the Orchester. I apologize if I pronounced her name wrong. Howdy all, excited for the playthrough. Love trick-taking games, and a two-player trick-taking game is such a fun twist. I agree, very cool. Deanna and I are huge fans of trick-taking, or not trick-taking, well, we're okay on trick-taking games. We're huge fans of two-player games, especially small, portable two-player games that we can take out to the pub, to restaurants, to coffee shops. Of course, when the world's normal, insane, and not crazy like what's going on right now. Um, so this looks fantastic for that. I've got to admit, this looks like a great coffee shop game, and a great pub game. Great game to be playing at the Brew Pub, Walkerville Brewery, or something like that. Tex voting on you. Ryan's voting on you. Moons, my highest moon or a one. It is a nine. And a nine is a witch, which means it becomes Trump and I win this trick. With only one nine, treat the nine as if it were in the Trump suit. But it doesn't change the Trump. Correct. Okay. So I win that trick. <clears throat> All right, now I don't even know what to do. I had I had an opening move. I'm going to move this or else it's going to get wrong. Well, except I want the bell in the well, picture. Well, you can put it somewhere where my elbow's There we go. we got to have a bell in the picture. Come on. All right, you know what? Let's go with a two of keys. Two of keys. Yeah, unfortunately the keys are still a little washed out. Let's see if I go one more lower. Is that a little easier to see? I think yeah, you can yeah. see the two of keys now. The four of keys. So you take that trick. Ten of moons. You can have that with my two of moons. You gotta stagger them oh, so I can right. see. Oh, that's right. So you can see what I have. Right, so we can do the math. Oh. I do not actually like trick-taking games. I kind of suck at them. So <laughs> everyone who's voting for me, you may be in for it. <laughs> you know what I like? I like traditional trick-taking games. There's very few gaming like cobby yeah, versions that I've enjoyed. I like I like the art and I like the, art's the, nice. the variation. Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. Hmm. Yeah, that's not the 
this way at all. Alright. Alright, so that I have to follow suit. We'll do a five, which lets me take this. And get rid of something from your hand, right? Because that's the good cut. Yes. Text me out that you did pretty good in. Um... Oh, see, you were supposed to remember that you already took all my keys, but then you didn't because I had woodcutter. Global event. Oh. Players with a birthday between January 1st and June 30th will add one to the next card they play. That's both of us. Yeah. <laughs> so we're both adding one from the next card we play. Players with birthdays between July 1st and December 31st will subtract one from the card they play. In case of a tie in the same suit, the cards will be discarded, and the trick will not count towards either player's total. Interesting. So for us, it doesn't matter. So my birthday is Plus in January, one to each of us. and Deanna's is in March. <clears throat> All right. I took that trick right before before we had a birthday celebration. Yes. Um, And what does that one do? When determining the winner of a trick with only one nine, treat the nine as if it were Trump. Well, that's already Trump, so it does nothing. Okay. Should play it, say what cards we're playing, so people can that's true. Yep. Right. hear them. So, how about I'm playing the Seven of Moons. Seven, what does that do? The winner of the trick receives one point for each seven in the trick. It's a treasure card. When I play this, I can swap the trump card for one in my hand. Interesting. So you didn't actually change what was Trump? Nope. Okay. Two of bells versus eight of bells. Three of bells. Which lets you pick that up and swap it for something else. Hmm. Alright. Oh, who got the sword? Did you get the sword or did I get the sword? The treasure? Yeah. I did. So you should take one. Oh, you actually do it then? Yes. I assumed it was when you no, no. scored it up at the no, end. No. Yeah, because I just did it twice. Yeah, twice, two, okay. Two treasures. So take two points. I don't know where we'll put our points. If it, oh, because it's those? points. It's not like yes. they don't count in the trick how yes. many. Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. So, there you go. I tried. I tried to take them all. It didn't work. You mean you tried to let me take yes. them all? Yes. Didn't work. So now I have to take the rest of these. Mm -hmm. Ten of bells. Mm. You take that. Ten of bells. Oh, that's Trump now. Never mind. Yep. <laughs> Seven of keys. I, this doesn't matter. Yep. I think I would take Ta it and just put it back. All right. So I got four. So I get one point. Woohoo. And then you were get victorious. So you get six. And then you dealt. So I deal. All righty. Simple enough. You pass all your cards. Oh, I had one more treasure. I had all three of the treasures. Okay. It was in my last trick. Maybe we should start my putting them on trick. soon as Ooh, we... Right there. Yeah. Put it out. Now that I know that you get points for those. Yeah. Just do the cards. Yes. You can clean sorry. up when I'm shuffling. Okay. Take the cards. Take more cards. 
Hard cards. There you go. So yeah, I don't know. Two player games. What's your favorite two player game? Drawing a blank. I like Patchwork. I like the Duke. Patchwork and the Duke, yeah. Yeah. Those are both really good ones. Field of World was okay, five, but we've only played it. Six, twice. seven, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. And the decree is moons. And you lead. Mr. Jack, I have not tried. Seven Wonders Duel, we just played a lot of that on um, the, our last trip yes, out of town. Yes, actually, I liked that. And the first time I played it years ago, I hated it because I hated Seven Wonders. So yeah, I we are give not, it a fair shake. not big Seven Wonders fans. But yeah, Seven Wonders Duel is really good. Um, huge fans of the Duke. We've been advocating for that game for a long time now. Okay, I just like playing the Duke because usually it's date night and we're drunk and I already know the rules. Well, that's fair, too. <laughs> that's... I like War Chest quite a bit for a, a newer. War Chest is good. Yeah. Global event. The player who most recently, well, it's scrolled, folded laundry receives one point. Yeah, I don't even know. I uh, think that we make was, the child do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was me because I folded up a towel to put back in the cupboard earlier today when I took out. Onitama's good. Yeah, that's a solid one. I do enjoy yes. Onitama. That one's good for on the go. It's your lead. Uh, I lead again because I won. No, because I Cause dealt. you dealt. Didn't I lead last time? Does... Uh, well, no, I did. Oh, alright. Sure. I mean, like, there's a video. I don't know. Technically, it's you dealt you and I lead. You have to play the highest number you have or the one. No choice. There you go. What else do we got? You gotta play the highest number you have or the one. Jeez. You got that in the keys too? Just keep doing it? Yep, sure. <laughs> Alright, that one I actually have the one. So now you lead, but I take the trick. Or no. Oh, <coughs> which means this should be the highest. <laughs> Again, we should be saying. Right. Sorry? Eight of keys. Eight of keys. Okay, well, I will take nine of keys. That when still works. the winner. Yeah, okay. It's a witch, so it would have been a moon, but it still would win it. Got it. Okay. Oh, now I have to lead the field. <laughs> the other thing we have, we have um, the Fox in the Forest duet, which we haven't tried yet. That's a co-op version of this. Well, actually, I don't know how similar it is. I know it's also a trick-taking game. I am leading with the the one of Moons, which is Trump. Which lets me switch this. Do I really want to switch this? Yeah, okay. Keys is now Trump? Keys is now Trump. You had the lead because you led the one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So far, I am not great at trick Taking games. Yeah, I haven't even read the rules for duet yet. I've got it upstairs to check out. Big thanks to uh, Terry I'm from gonna Renegade. Play the Fox of Bells. So immediately, right? When you play this, you may exchange your duty card with the card from your hand. I guess that would happen right away. Sure. So I get to take this, and I put something else out. Because that may change. What I'm playing, which it doesn't. So now Bells is Trump. Nine of Moons. You have Nine to follow with moons, moons, but she counts as a bell. Eight of Moons. I need to put my points somewhere here, down here. People see that? Not really, but. <laughs> Let's keep trying. Six of moons. No. And Take that a point. was a treasure, so I get a bonus. You keep point. getting all the sevens. That doesn't help. Let's see. Alright. 
Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. So one of those. So Hold on. So that's mine. Okay, but I still need. Sorry, why need. I was taking that away. Yeah, because you changed the trunk. Yep. And it does change right away. Yep. Okay. It's definitely some interesting thought processes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is just one, enough two, three, four, to get the six. six. But that gets you three. Why? Because six gives you three. Oh, all right, cool. I thought it was only when you won me that. Was. No. Because you, we, it was as close as possible. Cool. Global event players who have gone on a walk or worked out this week receive one point. I don't think either of us have this week. Not this week. Not nope. this week, unfortunately. I was out and about, but I didn't actually go for a walk. It's too bad. My mom even went for a walk. Yes. The 74-year-old lady on oxygen, she went out for a walk, but I didn't. Yeah, not this week. I hear it's quite nice out today. It's like in the 60s or something, but I haven't stepped foot out. Yeah, and since social distancing and staying home, I haven't worked out. Though not for those reasons. It is nice out today. It's not bad. How many rounds? So what did you played to 21 points. First player to 21 points. Which D now has 13. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. Tech came in to watch us play. So 10 of bells is the decree. So Tech would get a bonus point. Yeah, Tech that's would get a bonus said. point. Wait, can I say he's on my team? He did vote for you. Everyone's voted for you, so. Well, they know what's what. Oh, I... I decided to actually organize my cards this time. I do appreciate that the numbers are on both corners. Yes. Though I do wish they did it for the, uh... The ones with the words? The ones but with the words. But you've got the art, so if you're paying attention... It's not... And the art's different for each suit. Yes, it is. Okay. Art is different for it. every suit. I let's see. What do I want to do? I almost said I really think the blah is cute mm -hmm. on this art here, and I'm like, okay. So I had a plan, and it doesn't work because I don't have. All right, I am gonna start with the three of bells. Oh, and swap Take that, that out right pen. away. Hmm. And Are you I gotta replace. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm going to make it moons. So the fox of three of bells, which lets me swap the decree with a card in my hand. Okay. And I will take that for the four of bells. Alright, let's go with the 11 of moons. So you have to play the highest Take moon your card point. Who got a point? Who got a point? For what? I don't think anyone got a point. Oh, yeah, because he's on my team. Don't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get the one. That's your high. Oh, no, you had the one, so you I have to the play one. the one. Yep. Okay, so you lead. I still have not figured out a good strategy in this game. Let's try the Eight of Moons. Eight of Moons. I'll just stick with the Nine of Moons. How about the Ten of Moons? You get this as well. about the one of keys. I'll take it with the four. 
but you read. I'm both with two Ickies. <laughs> Take it with a nine. Do eleven of these. All right, but this allows me to draw a card mm -hmm. and then put one on the bottom of the deck. Or my board. Keep. No, ten of keys. Ten of keys. Nine of keys. Right. It says you may, I choose not to. Okay. Hmm. One of bells. Eight of bells. Nine of bells. Take it, because it's, it's a nine. Oh, Nine's it's the nine. Witch, so it's the witch. So it's the witch. So it's also moons. It's also moons. I, well, I screwed up. Go ahead. Let's see. I don't think it's worth it. It's seven bells. Yeah, I'm going to take that one. Dang. Yeah. Um, which you could just put card. that back to the bottom if you don't want it. Yeah, I don't need that. I need this one. Oh, I think you got this one. Wait. Something happening? Global event. Players may share a photo of their game with the hashtag for two points. Nope. <laughs> Excuse me? Got a thing to do? <laughs> I don't know. We're already streaming it. Why I'm taking this trick. Yeah, that's a, this is such a terrible tag. Yeah, I should get the game. Alright. Oh, well. It's good enough. Right, I'm going to get a picture with the box in it. Oh, this is a very exciting live stream now. You get to watch us type. Yes, watch us type. Mo will get a bonus point because he's faster than me. Can't even open Twitter. What's the hashtag? Worldwide Play Day. Spell it. There you go. Now the world knows what my last card is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rules of written say yes. We're both supposed to get two points because we're live streaming. Oh well, we tweeted too. You got bonus content out of us there. I'm losing this trick. There you go. <laughs> See? So you can clean up. Yeah, you I can, can give clean me up. My points and One, clean two, up. three, four, five, six. So you get the six. I get three. Does that give you 21? I don't think you're there yet. And we each get two points. Um, 18, 19, 20, 21. There we go. Game. Congratulations. Deanna wins the first Bye. game. Oh, here. Now that we're on <laughs> camera. So that is our first play of Fox in the Forest. That took about 23 minutes. You know, at this point, we may as well play one more like just to go till the was. end. That is nice and quick. Um, Board Game Geek said half an hour. I figured it was probably going to be about that. Good game. You kicked my butt. I did have 13, so I was getting there. 13 points myself. So from what I understand, the worldwide events are going to go on until 3.30, if I have that correct. So what we'll do is we'll finish one more game. We'll keep streaming that. If anyone in the chat room has any questions about the game or our channel or our content, feel free to ask. It is a little bit... What do you get for picking D? <laughs> you get, the chat room gets uh, six points for picking D. and I didn't actually take a picture. That's lame. I failed. She failed at tweeting. I failed. Tweeting. I go to tweet and my photo's not there. Oh, I want to riffle shuffle these, but I borrowed the game, and I don't like riffle shuffling other people's cards. I just Same keep wanting to grab them, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to riffle shuffle them. 
I do this for a living, you know. Two, right? three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whoops. Damn it, I had a box card. Terrible. Terrible. Take two points away from her. No photo. You haven't won. I'm trying. <laughs> you didn't get those two points yet. Two, oh, I didn't. You know what? I didn't three, even count the two points four, for oh, the, okay. unless Five, you handed them to me. Six. So I was seven, actually at 23. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I just had points 12, from the. 13. Unless you handed them to me. I actually no, I don't didn't. know. I did not. Uh, what was I going to say before that? No, see, you don't really do it for a living because everything you do, you like take pictures and then put them in Photoshop and edit yeah, them. Yeah, I never do. Do all this work. I do all Even my, my stuff on edited. Even my Instagram isn't instant. Yeah, sure, Instagram's not instant. Admit instant. I gotta admit, my Instagram's not instant either, but I just don't edit my pictures except for the Instagram edits. I don't Photoshop my stuff. I, yeah, I don't but really I use a real time. camera and take real photos, usually. Uh, my, mine's more real. It's, it's what people actually see oh, at the table. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know whose shuffle that was supposed to be. Like, I did it, but I don't... I don't know. It's a new game, so it doesn't matter. You lead. Oops. Yeah, the only improvement I would make on this game is I would have the 9 in the bottom corner. Sorry, I just gave away. <laughs> I'm Whoops. like, specifically the 9, eh? You want Whoops. that one in the bottom corner? <laughs> yeah, you don't know what color it is, at least. My bad. Yeah. Hmm. The, the, the odd-numbered odd suits, it would be nice to at least have the number in the bottom corner, in color. I do like that there is um, colorblind accessible, that there are symbols for everything as well as things. Global events. Each player may exchange a card in their hand, a card from the tricks won by opponents. If their opponent has not won any tricks, they can charge a card with the decree card. Well, we hadn't started, so you so may exchange I for the one. may exchange for the one. That's a neat one, except yeah. unfortunate. The problem is if we had all our tricks face down, it'd be like, what's in your tricks? Yeah. Interesting. The worldwide events are neat. All I right, like all right. I'm going to take it. I wish we had, last week, Wednesday, was the, um, was uh, Raiders of the North Sea, which is by far my favorite game for Renegade Games. I would have loved to have taken part in that, but it just, I heard about it too late, and there just wasn't time to get things set up, because today, uh, for those of you here on Twitch, we'll be back at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight to record an episode of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. Wednesday's busy day. Wednesday's our busy day. <laughs> this is, uh, taking time out to play a game Are is rare for us. Are you also going to do it? No, I don't think I am. Do you like your hand? You get the lead. I get to lead. I don't like my hand that much, but I don't like twos either. <laughs> Yeah, Raiders is fantastic. Raiders is, as like I said, at this point, my favorite Renegade game. Clank's way up there, too, but Raiders is uh, the one okay. I've been lately enjoying the most. Five of Keys. Five of Keys. Which I will beat with a six of Keys. Then we're going to go with... The Eleven of Bells. Mm -hmm. You have to give me, I have to give you the ten. Yep. <sighs> what are the odds of that really happening? What? You know what? What's this one let me do? I don't want to do that. You know what? I am going to play the Five of Moons. The Five of Moons. Alright. And we're going to get rid of that. Yes, we can. The Eight of Moons. Kids enjoy it too. Also like his Viking themes. High school mascot is a Viking. That's cool. We have not introduced. Our kids are still fairly young. Um, the oldest is probably old enough to play games like that, but they're still sticking to mostly kids games. Ticket to Ride, stuff like that they'll play. But they haven't really gotten into anything overly heavy. Huge fans of Ingenious, Quirkle. A lot of abstract games with them. Ghost Fighting Treasure right. Hunters is still, Let's in my opinion, the best kids game. the seven to take that and then I will get a point. But you lead. But I lead. <laughs> what we've been playing with the kids for late is a Talisman Legendary Tales. Mm -hmm. Which so the nine of moons, which is a witch, so it will treat it like it's wrong. 
so that doesn't matter. Hmm. I can't decide. I am going to play the seven. Or, sorry, That's the three, the fox, which will let me switch. I just don't know if there's a reason to do it. I just won't switch. Okay. So you take that, right? No. No. No, it's mine. Oh. Sorry. No, no, no. It's a nine. Okay. You're putting those off camera, but... Oh. Global event. Oh, no, exactly the player the most game. recently read a fairy tale. You decide oh, yeah. who leads. That's, That's definitely you. Me. <laughs> That's definitely you. Who? Who? What do you get for that? You get to choose who leads. I get to choose who leads. Oh, I'm leading. I Kay. like it. It's good. I keep leading. Um, but I'm plus one. It's Let's a good thematic do... one. Nice and tied in. Oh, nine of bells. Which stays a nine? Which stays a nine of bells? You know what? It's very I'll not exciting. Do five of bells. You're taking my butt so far. I dig the global events. All right, let's go with the two of names. The Renegades been in the chat. Do you know what next week's game's gonna be yet? Yeah, I want to know. Want to know? Because I would like to take part again. Because this is pretty neat. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Something to do. I will then play Eleven of Moons. Eleven of Moons. Cool. Followed by ten of moons. Mm -hmm. You can have this, but I won't change the suit. Well, I don't have that. You take that. Hmm? You said you can have this. Oh, I, I meant yes. Yes, sorry. I will play the three of bells, but I will not change the suit. Okay. Here, I thought I was doing good with those. I will. The six of bells. That is the last global event. Be sure to say hi in chat to be entered to win games and promos. They are going to be drawing across social media streams this afternoon. So everyone who's in chat, I see 11 viewers. At least say hi, wave, vote on who you think is going to win this game. Do something so your you got to say up. something so your name shows up in chat because it's going to be a lot easier because we have, I, I'd have to go up to viewers and look at it live and see people coming in and out. So please say something in the chat. Let us know what your favorite two-player game is. What your favorite Renegade game is. There, that's better. That's better. Let us know yes. what your favorite Renegade game is. I was is. like, I feel guilty because I'm listing off games that are not by that position. Ah. Did you just take that trick while I was looking away? What did yes. you play? I played the eight. There you go. On Thank your you. six. Then I'm going to play an eleven of keys. Oh, I hate that. There you go. Oh, and I get a point. Mm -hmm. Then I, I am going to play the eight of keys. Do you want to change, change the trump? The suit. And then I will play the nine of keys, which is trump. Ugh. Boom! That's how it's that done. That was terrible. That's how it's done. So I let D win game one. Yeah. That's what it was. I know how it is. I always win you got to say what cards you're play. playing. That's <laughs> We're both being bad at saying which cards we're playing. So I have seven points to Deanna's none. Where was the third treasure? Did someone not get it? Was it in a deck? You took it at the... No, maybe not third one. I'm like, you took okay. one off me in that last trick. Favorite Renegade game would be Raiders of the North Sea. Oh, yes. I Started in the West Kingdom series as well. I like Architects and I love Paladins. To be honest, I haven't tried any of those. The only, the only well, of Raiders that series, of the I, I played Raiders. And we have Hall of Heroes, but that's the only expansion I have so far. Yeah. I love that mechanic. The the place a worker, take a worker. It's just so brilliant. It just opens up so much um, interesting thought space. I don't mind teaching you either. So that's what we could have did. Oh, you can't see it behind us anyway. Once we're zoomed in. See much of my... I could have put all Renegade games behind us on the shelves. This is neat. I, I am definitely enjoying this. 12, 13. Yep. This is a very cool little game. Yeah, I would. I said this would be great again. for bringing out. I see Mae Suggins is in the chat room. I think she would enjoy oh, this yeah. one too. Oh yeah, I think she'd dig it because I know how much she likes like lost cities. And yeah. Little My lead. Eh? What's interesting about this is neither Deanna and I are big card counters, so I doubt either of us. So I'm sure we're doing a bit of it because that's part of the game. But no. <laughs> this is a game my dad back in the day would have loved. 
because it's yeah. he would have it memorized exactly what cards have been played by both players. Well, that's why there's seven out of out of you can't. Well, there's read seven. The, you uh, there's seven cards missing. Seven, you, that's, seven's a significant amount. I agree. Yeah. Oh. See, I got to figure out the fox in the forest. Which I appreciate secret, so. because that means that I don't have to play the card counter game. I appreciate that there's seven cards missing. Yeah, Clank is a great game. Cartel Altiplano. We haven't tried either of those. Nope. Passing through Petra, that's another one I haven't tried. I know I have other renegade games around the room. I have plenty. I just I'm drawing a blank whenever I try to actually think of it. I like Clank. I like Clank, Clank is space. fantastic. Come on, try Clank Legacy. Clank in space, I, I actually found I preferred the original. Mm, I like them both. You gotta put it on the side because we might Right. Because we might riffle through the deck. Riffle through. All Man, right. I do not know where to start. Usually I have like one card that I'm like, oh, I know, I'll start with this. Not this time. <laughs> no, see, even that doesn't work. <laughs> Here, let's go ten of bells. Ten of bells. From the chat, so far we have the following entrance. Thank you for listening to Moth Renegade. Make sure you say hi, say something. I show 12 viewers. Jump on your PlayStation, well, grab your phone. I, have, I don't have to do any accounting when we're done this. That's brilliant. I like it. Uh, let me take this again. Which does what? Oh, just it makes would, me play the If I was leading it, it would do something. Yep, I'm like, what's the 11 again? Yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So I was hoping you didn't have the 11. No. All right. How about the Nine of Bells? The Nine of Bells. going to use the three. Oh, I'm going to swap that to that. Are you still going to? So I played the fox, the one. No, I played the fox, the three. You played the fox, the which one. is the three, yes. which allowed you to swap for yes. the one. There you go. Um, boy, oh boy. Hmm. All right. Well, all right. I'll play the seven of bells. The seven of bells. I will take that with the eight. I hate you. Whew, what do I want to do now? I'm just going to play the two of keys. Two of keys. Hmm. I can show everyone my cards. They can tell me what to play. All right, I will play the three of keys, which is the fox, which allows me to swap this out and put something else there. And I am hoping that goes well. Okay. So yeah, when we put this live on YouTube, I guess we'll have two playthroughs. Yeah. Right. Or Sean can so cut it off off the first. We but. can cut it after the first. We explained it. We played it. Take it with the four. Yeah, you could cut it off of the first. I don't know. Mm. But we still have worldwide events going on at How the start of this How about the 11 one. of bells? You did it. The one. Oh, it's not bells. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's not. I said bells. Moon. Moon. Still works. Purple. It still works. But... Eight of moons. Daisy purple swing. Okay. So yeah, speak up if you're in the chat. Say hi at least to Eight be entered to win a copy of promos and potentially a full yeah, game. Um, how about the one of swans? One of swans. Yeah, the one of bells. I'm not one allowed. Of bells. To, uh, to you took that with a trump? Yep. And you're not changing it? Okay. How about the two of bells? I still have no bells. Mm hmm Well, that would mean you get silly. You know what? We're going to do a five of keys. Okay. 
Keep that with the witch. Who is moons? Nah. I don't like those nines. They make me grumpy. Oh, what do you have left? Cards. Hopefully no two of them. Yeah, oh, by one. Nice. And then a six of keys. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gets me the six. Yeah. And you get three. See? I only said I was going to win the first one. Did you not get your three points the first time? Um, no, I didn't get any points the first time. Should have been three. Should have been three. You had six tricks, I had seven. Okay. If I remember correctly. Sure, if you say so. Every time you say bells, I think of Animal Crossing. See, I'm not. we're not in the Animal Crossing thing. We're not involved. Whenever I say bell, I think of this. Yeah. That's what I think of. Did I even ring the bell at the beginning for the intro? I don't remember. I can't remember if I did. For everyone who is inevitably going to ask why there is a bell, that is part of our branding. That is the, the bellhop bell. I can't point this way because it's like, it'd be over here and up uh, that thing there. There we go. The bell. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thank you everyone for joining us. I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit the follow button. If you're watching this on YouTube, it would be awesome if you hit the subscribe button. Same with Twitch. If you want to hit the subscribe button, we'd appreciate that as well. Not necessary, though. Uh, you can find our content at tabletopbellhop.com. And if you do enjoy what you're watching, it would be awesome if you considered tipping the bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. I don't know how to tell people to subscribe more often because supposedly people get reminded and then they're like, oh yeah, subscribe. Or so I've been told. I don't actually know subscribe if it helps. Subscribe on YouTube. That's subscribing our Subscribing on YouTube would be awesome. We are trying to get to whatever they call it at a thousand subscribers. Is your lead the yeah. decree is a bell? The decree is a bell. Bell has been decreed. Fox has been belled. Um... I don't care for this hand. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to play the 11 of bells. And you have the swan. The so one, you, the swan. So it is your go. We will start with the 11 of keys. The 11 of keys, eh? Well, I don't have the swan. But uh, that makes me play the nine. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. How about the eleven of moons? Your lead. Hmm. Ten of keys. Ten of keys, eh? If I remembered the nines, Fox Suits would have played things in a different order. <laughs> Tex, like, now I have to look for this game. Okay. I'm pretty sure our local store has it. I think I've seen it. Draw a card and I will destroy something. I am going to try the seven of keys. Seven of keys. Deal hand. Damn it. I was hoping that wasn't in the game. I like the treasure. Okay. I was really hoping that wasn't in how the game. About, how about the ten of bells? The ten of bells. You can have the two. All right. How about... Both their sites posted keys. for delivery and pickup only. Well, yeah, you can't, you can't yeah, yeah. go there right now. They're they have non, the duet. They are not they have, essential. Yeah, they are non essential. They have duet, but not this. So that's too bad. I'm sure they can get it in. Um, 
I'm gonna play the fox and swap this for this. It's yours. Okay. Hello. I'm gonna play the fox and swap that. Interesting. Now it's so keys. you take it. Oh, because yeah, okay. Okay. Yours. Yeah, I see where this is going. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't think Sean joined us today. I'm going to draw a bird. This one. Also yours. With the four. Okay. Um, at least I want that. I got it. Mm -hmm. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what. Even if I take these last two. Had to do it at least once during the game. And then I get to lead. And, then you get and to I want to take this one. Nope. Nine. So you get one. Unfortunately, I think you got three points out of the I thing. did get three points so. from treasures. So that gets me six because Deanna was greedy. I and took too many of the cheat tricks. I am greedy. I can't remember who does that. And Mo that. is ever so humble. Yes, I was humble that game. Can't you tell? You got it, don't you? Six. I'm oh, yeah, that's 21. Points. It's 21. See? There. I lost the first game. Won the second game. Game over. Good game. One for each. One for each of us. Which is pretty good. So that was some Fox in the Fable from Renegade Games um, as part of the Worldwide Play Day, hashtag Worldwide Play Day. Uh, thank you very much, Renegade, for ha hosting this event. That was quite fun. Very decent two-player game. Two-player trick-taking, and it works. That's impressive on yeah. its own. And it's a very solid trick-taking game, some card counting, some uh, an interesting use of the odd cards with neat things. Very fun game. Appreciate that. Special thanks to Terry Latorco for letting me borrow her copy of the game so we could take part in this. That was awesome. And thank you all of you who joined us in the chat. Uh, make sure you say hi. Say something in the chat because one of you is going to win something, some promos, or possibly a copy of Sunday Split, another game from Foxtrot Games. Foxtrot Games, really? Yeah, it's Renegade Games and Foxtrot oh, Games. Okay. They work together. It's co-published. I thought you just came up with that. With no, no. Out of, out of no, no. Renegade Games and Foxtrot Games co-published this. Okay. They co-published Sunday there Split. So again, I am the tabletop bellhop, Mo Tuzano. Uh, you can find our content at tabletopbellhop.com and everywhere on the internet slash tabletopbellhop. Thank you for um, watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe follow button so you get notified when we go live. Uh, you can also join us back here tonight, Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, as we record the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. Uh, we go live at 9 p.m. Eastern and we answer your gaming and game night questions. What's the topic for tonight? Uh, the topic for tonight, we are talking about lonely fun. Things you can do that are gaming related when you can't actually get to a game, which is affecting an awful lot of us right now in the world. It's also useful for it's between gaming sessions, what you can do to keep yourself occupied and do gaming related things. So again, thank you everyone for showing up. Hey, Poncho, a little late, showed up right when we're closing up. We are going to kill the stream now. Thank you again, Renegade, for hosting this. Thank you everyone else for joining us. Good night and game on.